The latest consumer price index report is out, which measures changes in the cost of goods and services over time. This report tells us the state of inflation in the U.S. on a monthly basis. And here to discuss it all is ABC News business reporter Alexis Christophorus. Good to see you. Hey, guys. Good to see you. All right. So this new inflation data comes on the heels of two worse than expected reports. So what does today's report tell us? Unfortunately, today's report tells us prices are moving in the wrong direction. You know, mm. you get two months of bad inflation numbers. You can say that's a blip. Three months is a trend, and now we have a trend of higher inflation. So here's where things stand. Consumer prices up 0.4% from March to February, up 3.5% versus just a year ago. Remember, though, inflation was at 9% a little less than two years ago. We have made progress, but we sort of seem to be stuck in this 3 3.5% range, and it is squeezing household budgets. Yeah, I mean, it's that you say we made progress. It still feels like we haven't, <laughs> though, in the pocketbook. Yes. So what were the areas that we really saw this? The usual suspects, sadly, once again, rent and gasoline, two of the biggest reasons why inflation rose so much last month. We've been talking about rent just can't seem to come down, up another 0.4 percent. Gasoline up more than one and a half percent. Food also up a bit on the bright side. Used cars and trucks, they have been trending lower and continue to do that last month. we got a break on airfares. I'll take it almost half a percent lower. So what does this tell us on when the feds might start cutting interest rates? Well, you know what? Another thing the feds going to look at are grocery prices, and we also pull a few of those for us too because these are the basics these are the essentials that we have to go out and buy every day and talk about food inflation eggs up more than four and a half percent eggs are so expensive right right now <laughs> and the avian flu is not helping either cereal and bread prices down a bit milk up a little bit but to get to your point demarco you know the feds looking at this report and uh, together with that strong jobs report we had last week and it may convince them to hold off on cutting interest rates anytime soon we're hoping we're going to get that rate cut in june i actually spoke to an analyst before coming on air and he said you can kiss that interest rate cut goodbye in June mm -hmm. because the, the fear is that if they cut rates too soon, of course that will make borrowing cheaper for all of us, but then we're all going to go out and spend and that makes inflation go higher. So this, it's a, there's a fine line there. Not good for the long run. But there's yeah. also so many people watching those interest rates right now. If you're worried about your credit card, you're trying to buy a house, what do you say to those people? I say that if you are trying to time it and wait for the magical interest rate number, that's not a good strategy. When you're looking at making a purchase like a car or a home, so many other things go into that decision other than interest rates. You want to look at your own situation. What's your budget? Use a mortgage calculator, a car auto loan calculator. They're free and they're online to understand how much you can truly afford and how much you're really willing to take on when it comes to debt. The economy is doing well overall, but there's always yes. a but. So yeah. this week, the CEO of JP Morgan Chase, the country's largest uh, bank there, uh, shared a bleak warning in his annual letter to shareholders. What are his concerns? Yeah, so when the, when the nation's largest bank CEO speaks, people listen. This is Jamie Dimon's annual letter to shareholders shareholders and he wanted to raise a few red flags. One, inflation. He says, look, it's sticky. It's going to be hard to get it down. I think we're seeing that happen right now. He also predicts we're going to see soaring interest rates, not an interest rate cut, but rather interest rates perhaps going higher. And he also touched on artificial intelligence, saying that AI is a transformative technology in much the same way the printing press was or the internet for us. So like it or not, AI is part of our lives. It is here to stay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Golly, so much. I don't know that's the news I wanted to hear today. <laughs> but thanks, Alexis. It's always good to have Thank you here. You. Business reporter Alexis Christophers, thank you so mm -hmm. much for that information.